My name is Robert McDonald. I was born in Cottonwood. I've lived in Flagstaff since June of 1977. I, I got interested in nature when I was in high school. Hunting and fishing was important, and it just uh, evolved from there, from camping to backpacking trips. And I guess it just gave me a sense of well-being. I love the outdoors. That's why I work for the Forest Service. I was a civil engineer and surveyed and designed roads, and I also laid out trails, and, and then planning and designing campgrounds. So I started uh, thinking, well, what am I going to do when I retire? And I thought mainly about wildlife photography. Then I started seeing all of the neat landscapes out there. In the first part, I was just following the work of the previous photographers. And then as I uh, continued onward, I just maybe developed my own style, you might say. And, and I had read books too about composition and the rule of thirds and some of this, but I, I, I would look at a, a subject and just say, you know, how would it look good to me? Well, the, the first photograph I got published was probably the most exciting. Well, the first image was one up on the San Francisco peaks of autumn aspens, and the moon was in the photograph. <laughs> but I was very happy, let's put it that way, and excited. You know, I'm 85, and so I'm not gonna last, you know, forever. And uh, I, I need to do something with these images rather than just throwing them away or something. Years ago, I had a, a print purchased by Arizona State Museum. I thought, well, I'll try them. And, and then Janelle said, sure, we'll take your photos. <laughs> <laughs> or something to that effect, anyway. I feel good that they can be used and preserved rather than just forgotten and lost. You put the dark cloth over your head and you're looking at a viewing screen and you're kind of in your own little world. 